where is the Indiana-Michigan state line? Now, it's a debate nearly 200 years in the making. And tonight, WSBT 22's Kelly Stepsinski shows us why surveyors in both states are one step closer to putting that argument to rest. Even though huge signs like this one between Edwardsburg and Granger on State Road 23 make it pretty obvious you're crossing the state line, surveyors know it is much more scientific than that. And thanks to recent appropriations from the legislatures in both Indiana and Michigan, there's now a new commission embarking on this project to put new concrete or cast iron markers in the ground one mile apart between Illinois and Ohio. It's a piece of history an ad hoc committee started studying about seven years ago. And this map shows the boundary between Indiana and Michigan, originally surveyed in 1827. We had a court case uh, several years ago where somebody was killed on the state line and we had to prove which state they were killed in because you can't try somebody twice. And so if they tried them in the wrong state, they would be off the hook. St. Joseph County surveyor John McNamara says surveys in the last 188 years have been guesstimated and are off a little bit. He chairs the Indiana Michigan State Line Commission, a group appointed by both states governors to settle the debate once and for all. It's important because people need to know what they own. There, uh, there are, have already been uh, discussions on the, on people who live right up against the state line where where they where their property is you know where it isn't where it uh, how uh, do you own my property um, how come you're mowing my grass McNamara says he doesn't anticipate the new boundary lines to shift more than a foot or two in either direction now though it's just a matter of figuring out how much it'll cost oh, and whether the state legislatures the will appropriate the money to pay for it all the total cost is estimated to be about a million dollars with around a hundred thousand dollars anticipated for St. Joseph County. The next step now is to get bids from companies and surveyors from both states to figure out where that state line is. And the hope is for the entire project to be done about six years from now. Reporting from the state line, I'm Kelly Stopsinski, WSBT 22 News.